the one person who always bailed us out, baby. why I want her to go out with everybody tonight. I want her to finally have a good time. Anyway, she keeps trying to put me with this Sylvia Lemos, you know? And I'm not too crazy about Sylvia Lemos stuff. I mean, she's nice and all of that. She's okay, but she's just not for me. I got a funny feeling, baby, that you don't like her too much either. All right? I gotta get you some new pads. These are not gonna work. I gotta get some lighter metal or something, honey. This must bother you. I cannot figure out who the people are who decide these things. Yeah, I mean, I know, I know. Here, let me fix, let me fix that for you. That's it. It's okay now. I'll figure out something. I'll make them lighter, I'll fix them, I'll make it work for you. We have our own special language today, you know. Nobody can understand us but you and me. Oh, well, look. Look, Steffi, there's a 31 building. Do you know when Daddy was a little boy, he always used to wonder why they would call that the 31 building. And then one day, I figured it out. The reason they call that the 31 building is because it only has 31 stories. <laughs> Gandada and Marianne. There's Uncle Art. See Uncle Art? Give away. Hello, Uncle Art. Your Aunt Lydia's down on us a little bit, Stephanie. You know why? I invited Hector Gandada. I mean, after all, she's always bringing Sylvia Lemus in to see me, right? So I figured I would do the same to her. Chili, is it too cold for you, huh, baby? Is it too cold for you? Lydia. I wanted you to stay and see the play. You know that, don't you? Hey, just because you want something doesn't mean you're going to get it, Albert. Situation. Do you understand that? And it's not going to be a Sylvia Lemos. You got that? Hey, and when I want a date, I'll get my own date. And when I do, it's not going to be that ham sandwich you fixed me up with. I don't understand this. I don't understand why I still love you. Albert. Oh. Well, I got news for you. 
You're still a mystery to me sometimes, too, you know. I wish I had a choice. I'd choose not to. reservoir on which to draw, Albert. Her condition has worsened. Every bodily function deteriorated. I had her on the river last week. I... I just thought she'd love the lights, you know. It was really cold. Now, now, wait a minute. You can't blame yourself. I mean, this could have happened in your own bedroom. You can't isolate both yourself and the child. Don't you see, Albert? You've devoted your entire life to Stephanie to the exclusion of literally everything else. And she's simply not equipped to function. Deal with everyday living circumstances. <sighs> Look, they've called me, Albert. All of them. Your sister, Captain McIntyre, your friends. Rosa, not their concern. But you're of concern to them, Albert. Your personal life is your own affair, Albert. But unfortunately, in spite of everything you've done, our original diagnosis of your daughter's condition remains unchanged. She's only four years old. Four years old in a few months, is it? We've uh, got her in intensive care. But frankly, there's not much hope. She won't die, Doctor. She can't. Even if we bring her through this time, Albert, it would only be a matter of months. No. <sighs> Albert, Dr. Harmon is a specialist in brain disorders. Now, all the damage that Stephanie has inflicted... I really would like to see my baby right now. Well, she's not conscious. Perhaps you better. We've done everything we can, Albert. I am sorry. You said she never lived to be five years old, Doctor. You said she'd never be a child. child, if only for a little bit longer. Can you give me that? If you give her the five years of a child, 
Give me the five years. I'll go to the San Juan de los Lagos. I will go to San Juan de los Lagos. Your church of miracles. On my knees, Father. No, not on my knees. I'm a man. You made me a man, oh Lord. Over 300 miles I walk. No, I'll run. I will run. Five days. One day for each year of our life. Your gift. Oh, let her live, dear Lord. Oh, let my baby live. My promesa. Let my step. <laughs> Honey, you roll out for coffee break. Mm, perfect timing. It's decaffeinated. See you later. Oh, come on out. I'm going to decaffeinate you. You're going to what? Sweetheart, you know I don't want you to have all that caffeine. Yeah, but what about my flavor? This high point has your flavor. Hearty, robust flavor. Look. Flakes. They mean hearty flavor in your cup. Hey, this is good. <laughs> Tastes terrific. How'd they do that? High Point starts with premium decaffeinated beans, and in a patented extra step, mills some of the coffee into flakes glistening with flavor. Flakes that mean hearty, robust flavor in your cup. How do you feel being decaffeinated? I feel like a second cup. <laughs> High Point Instant with the hearty, robust flavor to decaffeinate the ones you love. Hey, some smile. Thanks. Brushing with Crest? The smile's got to last a lifetime. Can't afford cavities. Figured you for an exciting stripe or gel. Toothpaste don't excite me. Beautiful checkups. That excites me. Yeah, but... Crest works. Has more evidence. Evidence? In my lifetime alone, Crest Floristan has prevented more cavities than all other toothpaste combined. Impressive, but... Uh, brush up on the evidence. You end up with Crest on your brush. More evidence? Great checkups. That's exciting. A chance to go further. Faster. That's what you can help get Special Olympians with this envelope. Yes, look for this Publishers Clearinghouse Melee. Inside are coupons worth $2 off these Procter & Gamble products. And for every one you redeem by January 26th, Procter & Gamble will donate five cents to Special Olympics. Where the mentally handicapped go further, faster, and win. So act now. You'll save and give the gift of winning. And help make our Olympics special. All right. NBC Monday Night at the Movies returns following these messages. It's the Bob Hope Anniversary Special with Milton Berle, Barbara Streisand, Danny Thomas, Raquel Welch, Robert Urich, Olivia Newton, John, and more, Sunday on NBC. Update, the latest from News 4 New York. Good evening, I'm John Hambry. And I'm Sue Simmons. Among the cold weather problems, a row of houses reported up in flames in Jersey City. And a movement among tenants with no heat in the city to withhold rent. We are not alone. Frigid weather is causing problems along the entire East Coast. And a man police say was once the underworld king in New York draws the jail sentence. We have new information about low-tar cigarettes. These stories and a lot more on News 4 New York at 11. Join us. When the forecast is cold and dreary, there's one place where it's always warm and friendly. The Meadowlands. So come on out. Near Meaty Bone is a barking good treat. Bark if you like meat. There's a biscuit in the middle wrapped with meat. Bark if you like meat. Introducing Meaty Bone, the first dog biscuit made with real meat. Inside, there's a crunchy biscuit to help keep your dog's teeth clean and strong. Outside, there's a delicious coating made with real meat. New Meaty Bone is a barking good treat. Bark if you like meat. New Meaty Bone, made with real meat. Amico took 14 benefits people want in gasoline and put them all into one product. Amico Premium Lead Free. 
It's the higher octane lead free that helps your car start easily in cold weather, warm up smoothly, helps stop engine knock and run on. It's the gasoline with 14 benefits you want to help your car run the way it should. It's one of Amoco's two problem solving lead free fuels. You expect more from a leader. Two hour season premiere of an all new Buck Rogers Thursday at 8. 300 Miles for Stephanie continues starring Tony Orlando and Peter Graves. I got five months till Stephanie's birthday. Primo, you gotta believe me. Just to train for a run like that. That's why I need you, man. Come on, man. You're a runner. Leave me alone. You know that. He thinks I'm Jesse Owens. Thank you. <laughs> I, really, I run a few miles, five tops. But what you're asking for is impossible. You've heard of the classic marathon, the one they run in the Olympics? That's 26 miles. Do you know the first guy that was going to do that was delivering a message and he dropped dead on the spot? That's 26 miles. You're talking about 300. 320. Ooh. Oh, shoot. <laughs> and you're going to do it in five days. I drove Stephanie down there just last week, Bob. You're taking the long route. Listen, this is between me and God. I don't care if you guys oh. laugh at me. Oh, come on. I don't on. care if people okay. laugh at me. I have no time for that. No, okay, okay. Sense. Don't, okay. Okay, nobody's laughing at you. But you can't do it. I can't do it, and I've been running since high school. You're talking about 60 miles a day on concrete highways. It's going to be the middle of March. It could be hot, it could be raining, it could be cold. Who knows? I told you, Angie drags me down there all the time. People just come in, they go on their knees all the way to the chapel, you know, like your uncle did. Look, I promised. I made a promise to God for Stephanie. But on March 20th, her birthday, I will be at that church at noon in front of Our Lady. And I will have run all the way. I need your help. I'll show you everything I know. I'll even train with you. Art! What are you telling him? Come on, I'm 35 years old and he's several months older than I am. I can't kill myself. I got a family now. You could use a little getting into shape. Oh, get away. I'm in great shape. What are you talking about? Running? It just bores me. <laughs> When's the last time you ran? You want to do me a favor? Hey, can we stop over at that store right over there? What, you want to get a taco before you start your training? No, no man. The one next to it. You see it right there at the toy store. Yeah, okay, I could use a bite myself. And you was just getting dinner on the table. What's up? Oh, I just don't want Stephanie to be bored, you know? Oh, Michael has conked out on us again. Nobody's around here much during the day. We can get in an hour or so to start. See how it goes. Hey, come on, Steph. I don't need the exercise. Look, Stephanie. Look how sweet he is, honey. Be all right. Daddy will fix you, sweetheart. Daddy will fix everything. Come on now, let's let him and Uncle Art do their thing while we do ours. Hey, it's almost a half hour. You don't suppose he decide to just run on home, do you? <laughs> it's only ten miles. Michael isn't feeling too good, you know? But it'll be all right, though. Daddy will fix it. Daddy will fix everything. Yeah. Hey! Here he comes now, look! Huh? Daddy and Uncle Lord. See you over there? Come on, Steffi. Oh, yeah! Come on. 
Let's get everything. Let's go. Come on. We're going now. all right. Look at him. He's going to have a heart attack. I read all the time about guys having heart attacks. Well, they are jogging. I keep from having heart attacks. Already, we can't do this. You really tell him we can't? God! Yeah. Point two miles. How long? Thirty three minutes. Thirty three. Two miles, a half hour, that's four miles an hour into seventy. I don't want to hear about it. That's almost eighteen hours a day running. Truth, man. What are you doing? Physically, I mean. If you're trained. I don't know, Veto. I swear to you. I can't even think of trying. You promise? When you go an hour more, man. Let's get it out. Come on, Veto. Artie, tell him, for God's sakes. Okay, three hours and 22 minutes. Damn, I gotta get it down below three. It's the concrete, man. It's gonna wear you out. I told you to stay on the grass. The grass is slowing me down, primo. It's too long. Maybe we could cut it. 
Oh, sure. Mow 300 miles of grass. Just in spots. To give Beto a break. Well, okay, Bobby. We're gonna have to figure out five miles an hour. You can't go 14 hours a day. He's gonna have to sleep for eight hours a night. Plus break times during the day. I'm telling you, I'll improve. I'll improve, man. We got almost two months left. If I can get it down to six miles in one hour, yeah, I'd give us only 12 hours a day. It'd be better. Longer rest period. I don't know. We gotta be sane about this. Six miles an hour? Listen to you two guys, man. You should check yourselves out. You really sound like I wanna do it. Of course we're... You're gonna do it. You made a promise, didn't you? Come on, Mariana, have supper on the table. Listen, man, I got a steak in the freezer. You guys go on, okay? In fact, do me a favor. Call Lydia. Tell her I'll be home to pick up Steph. I don't know, about 9 o'clock, okay? Catch you later. What the hell do you guys think you're doing? Yeah, we're just going out of town for a couple of days. You know, a little vacation. We're not violating any ordinances. I had a call from the Express News this morning. A fellow wanted to know about one of my cops who was going to run over 300 miles in five days. Something about a promise. Now, I assume it's only natural he would think that I would know what's going on in my department. Well, the run isn't going to interfere with our work, Captain. We got time off coming. I've got your requests on my desk, all three of them. A full week off next month, huh? None of the other guys are taking their vacation during that month, so we figured it would oh, be all right. Oh, you figured. We... You figured you were going to make this run. You figured you were going to try to make this run without some kind of official recognition. It's a personal thing, Captain. Albert didn't want to say... I had to make the run, Captain. I have to. And I don't understand why they're making such a big thing out of this anyway. Who told the newspaper? Somebody heard about it at the hospital where you take Stephanie. The doctor knew Lydia. They're bound to mention it. Yes, that's right. When one of my officers tries to kill himself, it's big news. 320 miles in five days. Is that right, Albert? Yes, sir. How can I help you? Thank you, sir. You give us a week off, I promise you we'll do the rest. Right, you've got your week, but it's not going to be that simple. Once the news media's got Captain, it, they're going to hound you. Captain, if you really want to help us, you'll make sure that they stay out of this. Please, please.
couldn't keep the press out of it, even if I wanted to. We'll talk to him, Captain. Come on, we better catch up with him. Where are you headed? The church. He wants to take a good look at the route close. You guys got duty Thursday. We'll be back in plenty of time. He's going to do it in 20 hours. 20 hours? Non-stop. Now I'm going to lose three crazy men. I'm sorry, Captain. Albert promised God. And we promised Albert. The 1981 Honda Prelude is a pleasure to look at in many different ways. You can look at it as a sporty car with front wheel drive and sleek racy looks. You can look at it as a comfortable car with a luxurious interior and power steering that comes with the optional automatic. You can look at it as an economy car. After all, it is a Honda. But then again, you can look at it like this. Honda, we make it safe. We went out of our way to make a dry dog food that's altogether different. New Come and Get It variety dinner for dogs. Come and Get It has four different flavors. Beef, beef, beef cheese, 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 liver, liver, liver chicken, 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 in four unique shapes. We put them all together in one bag. New Come and Get It. Come and Get It. Come and get it. The taste that calls dogs to dinner. Isn't this crazy? Here we are at a party talking about carefree panty shields. <laughs> Look, when you find something that helps you feel fresh as often as carefree panty shields, you want to spread the news. I've heard about these. Are they called shields because they're so thin? Right. They're for any time you want a little freshness. They'd be good with a tampon, wouldn't they? Sure, they're so thin and comfortable. Comfortable enough for every day. <laughs> Great. Now, for the fresh-dressed woman, there's deodorant carefree panty shields, too. prices, I can get a rotten headache. Life got tougher, and we got stronger. Announcing new Excedrin, unsurpassed strength with the two most powerful pain relievers you can buy, and a third ingredient that may make them work even harder on your headache. On a tough day like this, I'm glad there's new Excedrin. Life got tougher, and we got stronger. In capsules and new tablets, new extra strength Excedrin. NBC Monday Night at the Movies returns following these messages. Friday, Barbara Eden's hit movie is a new series, Harper Valley PTA. Then Sanford actually has the big one. I'm a dead man! Then William Conrad is Nero Wolf, the world-famous detective of mystery novels. There will be more than enough proof. And introducing Lee Horsley as Archie, all Friday on NBC. This new label says 100% natural. Also, the one of the ingredients is sugar. Aunt Millie's has never added even one pinch of sugar. We've always sweetened our sauce by adding extra tomatoes. We cook them slowly to bring out their natural sweetness. And we don't put anything into Aunt Millie's sauce that you wouldn't put into yours. No sugar, no corn syrup. That's what 100% natural means to Aunt Millie's. You sure make great sauce, Mom. Aunt Millie's tastes good enough to call your own. Is the Energizer just another battery? Is Niagara just another falls? The Energizer from EverReady Technology. Of all leading brands, nothing outlasts, nothing outperforms the Energizer. EverReady made sure. Your game, calculator, recorder, they'll tell you. Energize me. The Energizer, Energize. For life. Long life. How long will this bitter cold last? The answer at 11. 300 Miles for Stephanie continues starring Tony Orlando and Gregory Sierra. <laughs> McIntyre would love to get this guy. Sergeant Rodriguez, Mike Quintanilla, Express News. Hi. Captain McIntyre said we could talk. Sorry about that, man. I'm on duty. We're on patrol. Oh, that's okay. Captain McIntyre gave me permission to ride with you tonight. Uh, Officer... Hernandez. Robert. I can appreciate your feelings, Sergeant, but uh, you're attempting something that has never been done before, to my knowledge, and that's news. 
It's my job to, to cover whatever's happening. You may have to do your job, Mr. Kimberly, but I never intended this to become a circus. I don't know if you understand what this could really mean. Captain McIntyre tells me that the police association is sponsoring you. MHMR can use all the help it can get. MHMR? Uh, mental health, mental retardation. Oh, you know the place, man. The place that never helped Stephanie at all. They don't have the money, the, the facilities. Not too many people care about the kind of problem that Stephanie has. You know that better than anybody, Albert. That's what this is all about, isn't it? How did you find out about this? People talk. It's my job to listen. Lydia, my sister. Finally. Everybody told me you wouldn't talk to me. Well, everybody was right, Mr. Quintanilla. There are thousands like your daughter, Albert, needing help that agencies can't afford to give. If you just let me tell your story. Look, I only care about Stephanie. I don't know about any others. Well, the others well, don't have someone like you, Albert. You could give them part of your strength just by letting me share your story with the world. Mr. Quintanilla, there is no way I can stop you from reporting your facts. But I can't run to the moon for these people. Beto, he could be right. What you're doing, people know about it. At MHMR, other places that help. We start on the 16th. San Juan Capistrano mission. It's going to be early. Oh, I'll be there. Albert, I've got a hunch a lot of people will be there. Dr. Lombardi. Beto, Dr. Harmon's with Dr. Gunfuss Calder. What happened? I left with you, she was fine. I gave her her 10 o'clock medication. It was a seizure, Beto. Dr. Gunfuss is waiting for you. We have her on oxygen. Dr. Harmon is doing everything humanly possible. We've decided to change her medication. She hasn't had a seizure in over a month. I thought you said you found the answer. I know, it's, it's an ever-changing, ever-developing situation, Albert. Look, the, the drugs we use are successful in draining the excess water from her brain tissue. But her breathing complications... You realize that I start tomorrow? I'd like to see you before I go. I've been reading the articles in the paper. What's his name? Mike uh, Quintanilla. He'd make an excellent press agent. But tomorrow could be a critical time for Stephanie. You see, if the change of medication isn't effective... You know how many times you've told me Stephanie wouldn't live to be five years old, Doctor? She's going to be five years old this Sunday. This is Tuesday, Albert. I wanted it with me. On Sunday. At the church. In front of Our Lady. I'll bring her there. If they let her leave the hospital, I'll have her there waiting for you. Doesn't anyone understand what I'm saying? Look, if the change in medication isn't effective, she won't be here on Sunday. I want to see her now, Doctor. Now! Before I go, and you're going to be off on the highway somewhere? <laughs> Killing yourself you on some impossible... Take, you take me to see my baby, Doctor. Well, you at least let me look you over. When you try, you run like... Forget it. Nothing's in your hands now. Just forget it. Can you do it, Art? Or am I gonna lose them both? He's running 40 miles. 70. God only knows. That's what beto has been saying all along. I believe him. You gotta believe him, Lydia. It's all we got.
Michael. I was going to surprise you for your birthday, Steffi. But you see, Steph, Daddy may not be here on your birthday. Well, not exactly. So. I mean, it's only a few days anyway, right? But look at him. Is he beautiful? Hmm? And he's going to be here to take care of you along the way. That's right. Michael is going to play for you again. I love you, Steph. Now, listen. You'll be a good girl. time for his first trim make it special it'll be okay a little snip a little clip now there it's not so bad you're ready for a special treat at burger king with dad juicy burgers just his size feeling special with a shake and fries make it special make it burger Today's the day I start my new carpool. The one my boss is in? I'm gonna need all the confidence I can get. Am I glad I'm using Dial? Dial, the leading deodorant soap, gives you twice the active deodorant ingredient as a number two brand. Twice the active deodorant ingredient. Parker! Boss? Glad you could join us. Glad to be here, sir. Oh, the merrier. Oh, thank you. Dial, with twice the active deodorant ingredient. Aren't you glad to use Dial? Or fail to lift their weight. They even lose their magic touch. Ellie, you take your vitamins today. Reach up, call up, and save their day. Oh, don't cry, honey. He'll come back. Reach up to someone far away. Ellie, you looked great. <laughs> How come the other scoop does? Reach up, reach out and touch someone. When I bite into a York peppermint patty, I get the sensation of driving those huskies across the frozen tundra. It's cool and crisp. Get the sensation. When I bite into a York peppermint patty, I get the sensation of being an icy cold snowflake drifting somewhere way north in this laundromat. York peppermint patty. Get the sensation from Peter Paul. Thursday, Buck Rogers is back. That's the understatement of the century. Buck launches an all-new season aboard the Starship Searcher and teams up with the wise Dr. Goodfellow and the uppity Crichton. Buzz off. To challenge the deadly hawk. I shall drive you from the sky. An all-new Buck Rogers. Then, from the producers of Lou Grant, Catch the Blues, The Hill Street Blues, Dedicated Cops. Oh, Ma, they stole my car. The Hill Street Blues. A great new lineup Thursday, starting at 8, 7 Central and Mountain. Padre nuestro que estás en el cielo, te pedimos tu bendición para este hombre, Alberto Rodríguez, que ofrece su fuerza y su amor a ti, demostrando su fe en tu infinita misericordia. Él no pide para él, oh Señor, sino para su desamparada hija, Stephanie. Está con Alberto Rodríguez en cada paso del camino, mientras cumple su promesa a ti, querido Señor, en su carrera a San Juan de los Lagos, la iglesia de tus milagros, para suplicar personalmente ante tu Madre Sagrada. Bendito seas, mi Hijo. En el nombre del Padre, del Hijo y del Espíritu Santo. Amén. Ve con Dios.
Benito says corriendo. <laughs> 20 miles in two hours and 10 minutes, man. You got to slow the pace down. I can't believe it, man. Artie, I'll take the camper to the next stop point, huh? I'll pace you for a while. Slow down, Bobby. Well, you're not here, you are. It should be better if you stick to the schedule. Come on, now. You got to run like a rabbit and fly like a bee. 300 miles per hour, Stephanie. Now, come on, honey. I'll pace you. Take me that one. 